Hi friends, Mickey Mancus here and welcome to Out the Back Door. Today I'm going to be making a blueberry cream cheese French toast casserole, so come along and join me. So I went over to In the Kitchen with Karen and looking at one of her videos that she had up recently about making um, the French toast casserole. And I thought, oh, well, let's go see what she's making. I thought, that really sounds good. I haven't done the blueberry cream cheese one in a while. So I'm making this for supper tonight. Normally you make this ahead of time, like in the evening for the very next morning and bake it for breakfast, but I'm just kind of doing the opposite. And I'll give you the directions of how long to wait before you get it in the oven if you're gonna do it for supper. First of all, you wanna start with your bread. I went over to, if you have a Walmart near you, look for the French bread, Italian bread, something like that. They usually have it for like a dollar a loaf. If you go into their section where they bake too much, you might be able to get a loaf for like 60 cents or whatever so check that out also you can use texas toasting bread that's thicker cut and everything and if you do use that you're going to need 12 slices otherwise um, i grabbed italian bread good enough and i'm going to use one large loaf in this i'm slicing this approximately one one and a half inch thick slices and then i'm just going to cube this up same size, about one, one and a half inches. You know my measurements are kind of like off the wall sometimes. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep cutting this all up. At the same time, we're gonna need one eight ounce package of cream cheese. Now, most of the time when there's a recipe, it calls for room temp and so that you leave it sit out for a while. What I'm gonna have you do as a little tip is take your cream cheese and put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. It's gonna make for dicing it up a lot easier. Also with your bread, when I had mentioned going to the kind of clearance rack, um, actually day old bread works the best for this. All right, now that I've got that all tossed up, I'm gonna be putting this into a nine by 13 cake pan and you wanna either spray it with Pam or grease it down with butter. All right, now that I've got my bread all cut up and everything into big cubes, I'm gonna be doing my cream cheese next. I've got a lot of things going on today. I'm gonna to be roasting a couple of different um, turkeys and just too many things. So I figured this would be nice and easy to get ready and then I can just pop it in the oven when I need to later on. So we're gonna dice this up into just really small pieces because we're gonna to try to sprinkle this through our casserole. Um, evenly and the smaller the pieces the better now as I was mentioning this is generally made on um, the evening before and then you leave it in the refrigerator overnight um, so it has a good chance to soak up all of the egg mixture that we're going to be putting in it and everything and then you would bake it in the morning you can make this ahead of time um, for supper if you'd like and all you'd have to do really is get it in the refrigerator and let it set up for about five hours. Um, I'm looking at the clock right now. My husband does work long hours and doesn't get home till late. So even though it's before one o'clock in the afternoon, I'll still have this ready in time for him for supper. I've got all my cream cheese diced up into smaller pieces. Um, my pan is already prepared and I'm gonna put half of my bread into the bottom here. And then I'm gonna take my cream cheese and just kinda dot it around here with the little cubed up dices, whatever you wanna call them. No, seriously, that tip about putting it in the freezer really does work because um, had I not, I, it really would have been a harder time trying to dice this up and it's warming up really quick right now just at room temp as it's sitting and wants to stick together. So when I mentioned I'm making this for supper, my husband goes, but it's supper time, it's not breakfast. And I mentioned in videos before that I like to eat breakfast food at supper time. You know, it's breakfast somewhere. And plus being I'm a grown up, I can eat what I want, when I want. <laughs> Another thing, if you follow my channel, you kind of notice that I usually double, triple, quadruple recipes and everything. If by chance you want to cut this in half and put it in a nine by nine pan, you may. Um, I am going to be doubling 
I'm just showing you how to do the regular single recipe right now. But I have two 9x9 nine nine pans out ready to go because I'm going to be doing this for my family and sending small portions over to their house so that they have some yummy food too. The next thing we're going to need is blueberries. One cup of blueberries you can use fresh or frozen. Um, I happen to still have some in the freezer that I had harvested out of our blueberry patch. So I've got that there. Um, I'm also going to sprinkle one tablespoon of all-purpose flour on this. And I'm just going to kind of mix the blueberries with that. And the reason for it is so that they don't really bleed super bad when um, we put them into our casserole here. And just give that a quick stir. And then I'm just going to kind of sprinkle these on top also. If you get any clumps, spread them out a little bit. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to finish putting the rest of our bread on top of this. I'm just going to kind of dump it in and then I'll rearrange it. And when we put this in the refrigerator and when we bake it, we're going to be covering it with aluminum foil. Well, mine's kind of high, so I guess that's why they call it French toast and you buy French bread and I bought Italian. So I'm mushing mine down a little bit. And I'll set that aside. And now we're going to start working on our egg mix. I have one dozen eggs here. And to begin with, I just kind of bust up the yolks because it's easier when I start mixing everything in together. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix up my eggs a little bit before I put them into my big bowl. All right. The next ingredients that we're gonna be adding to our eggs is two cups of half and half. You can use whole milk if you want instead. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a whisk. I'm going to add one third cup of pure maple syrup. Okay. Mix that up. All right, I'm going to be adding in one half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, we're going to whisk this up good. Next, we're going to pour our mixture evenly over our bread that's in the pan here. And we're going to try to coat as much of the bread as possible. The next thing you want to do is we're going to cover this and we're going to put it in the refrigerator. If you're doing this in the evening, you're going to refrigerate it for overnight. And if you're doing like I'm doing today, I'm going to put it out in the refrigerator for about five hours and then I'll bring it in. Um, in the meantime, while this is sitting out there, I'm going to show you how to make a very delicious blueberry sauce that's going to go over this. As long as I'm doubling the recipe for the actual French toast casserole, I'm going to be doubling the recipe for the sauce that I'm making also. I'll give you the measurements for a single batch. Um, so, you're going to need two cups of blueberries. You can use frozen or fresh. Um, mine are frozen in here. You're going to add two cups of water to that. And right now I've got it on a high flame. I'm also going to add a half a cup of sugar. Stir that in because we're going to be making like a syrup out of it. Um, the blueberries are going to kind of burst open in here. And while that's cool, I'm also going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. So I'm going to mix that in so we don't get lumps as long as the water's still cold. Okay, and now I am going to bring this up to a boil. As you can see, the sauce is really getting thick. Um, it's been boiling for about four minutes now. And I'm just about ready to take it off of the burner. I've preheated my oven at 350 degrees. And now I'm going to put my French toast casserole into the oven. I'm going to cover it with foil for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to continue baking it for another 30 minutes. 
Okay, our blueberry cream cheese French toast casserole has just come out of the oven and I'm ready to dig in. I wish you could smell this, it smells so wonderful. I'm gonna add a little bit of blueberries and maple syrup to it. There you have it, a delicious breakfast, even at supper time. So if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.